Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Well, look, here we go again. This is an echo of last night's video about Italy opening their shops, bars and restaurants after the public protested and said, no, we don't want to do this anymore. We now have the same thing has happened in Austria. Austria have been protesting a lot. In fact, yesterday, 10,000 people protested. And at one point, as you can see in this clip, the police joined them. Here they are, the police walking with the protesters. These must be police with some kind of moral compass. Police that realize that they are only helping to enforce and, and imprison themselves and their children's future. Here they are, here they are carrying their helmets in their hands, walking side by side with the protesters. I hope you are watching this police in the UK and elsewhere. And now today it has been announced as if by magic. Here it is in Reuters. Austria to loosen lockdown, allowing shops and schools to reopen. Austria will loosen its lockdown next week, switching to a nighttime curfew from all day restrictions on movement and letting not non-essential shops and schools reopen. The conservative led government announced the move despite infections staying higher than it would like, citing the social toll of continuing the country's third lockdown, which began on December the 26th. The issue is clear. The safest course would be remain to remain in lockdown, Chancellor Sebastian Kurz told a news conference after discussions with scientific experts, influential provincial governors and opposition parties. He said, but we know there is also children's need to go back to school. There is the necessity of doing everything to keep unemployment as low as possible. And there are, of course, also the social and psychological aspects that must also be taken into account, he said, adding that the easing will start on February the 8th. So once again, People power has won out. Don't get me wrong, this is probably not the end of it, but this is yet another clear case that destiny is in the people's hands. The government and the police, they're not your masters. You, the people, are collectively their masters. They exist in their positions. They exist to serve you, not the other way around. So once again, this is hardly reported anywhere in the UK or anywhere else. And the reason is obvious. They don't want you to see another country who has effectively pushed their government back from forcing them in permanent lockdown because they, they don't want you to see it because they want you to stay indoors and do nothing while all of your businesses go bankrupt. Austria and Italy serve as a lesson to others. You have to take the initiative to make a change. Now, this is a good video to share. More people need to see this one. As always, thanks for listening.